right now. And I want to share something that I didn't plan on sharing to start, and that is a, a, something that just happened. It's a secret because you'll never hear this in the news, but this is a real story behind the story of history. Yesterday it was just confirmed in Israel that Benjamin Netanyahu was re-elected as the Prime Minister. tell you something. The first time he was Prime Minister was in the 1990s, an African minister in America got a word, said, I'm a word from the Lord, I have to speak to the Prime Minister of Israel. But it was impossible that he ever would. But it just happened that God worked it out, brought him together with a man, brought him over to Israel. He actually had a meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu. And he came to him, it was the cabinet, there was Ariel Sharon, and they were all around him. He said, he said, I have a word from God for you. And, and Netanyahu said, well, you know what happens when we do the prophets when they give words that don't come true. <laughs> he said to him, he said, from the Lord, I have placed you in the position you are in. Do not divide my land, or I will remove you. Now, what happened was Netanyahu was then pressured by the Clinton administration, and he divided the land, and then his government collapsed. A few years later, another word came to the African minister in America, and he said, I have to speak to him again. Turned out that Yahoo was here in America in the state of Florida. And he was here because there was a gathering in a church, a mega church, supporting Israel. The African minister came to him backstage. This time when, when Netanyahu saw him, he wasn't laughing. When he saw him again, and he came up there, he said, I have another word for you. And he said this. He said, I will place you back in position, you will again be Prime Minister of Israel. But this time, you are not to divide my land. You are to give this to my people, be strong and of good courage, and I will cause you to prosper. In 2009, it came true that Yahweh was put back in power. And this time, he remembered the prophecy, and he has been strong ever since. And because of that, every time there's an election, and all the media said, Netanyahu is finished, CNN rejoices over they say, if you're finished, always he ends up getting back elected again. That's the hand of God. Last minute, he gets back again. Last minute. But something that was said to him in that word that was given to him that has come true, the minister, the, the African minister said to him, from the Lord, I will place you back in power for the restoration of the tabernacle of David. And it's in his administration that America under Donald Trump has recognized Jerusalem as the capital of the nation of Israel. I tell you this, that you will know the signs of the times, but also that you know and that we know that the ways of God are stronger than the world and stronger than history and can change the course of history, and that is why we are here. Vero